Where are we going, babes, today? He's taking me to Sephora. Listen, listen, Arsenal is part of the whole tick package. Remember, we had that agreement. We're going to Sephora. So what are we doing today? Trip. I'm taking you on a little trip, innit? What are we doing are today? Are you excited? What are you doing I'm today? buying you some stuff from there. He's buying a full face of yep. makeup for, for me. Not for me. Yeah, for her. <laughs> the rest of her. And I'm in a good mood because Arsenal won. Hey, don't like I'm not putting that. No. She's upset because I'm, I'm scared. About All right, champs, let's head out. All right, babe, do you know what the rules are? What's the rules? You have to get a full face of makeup yep. for me, yep. okay? Yep. Eyebrows, foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, all the way down the list. Anything I want. I just I have to figure this out, yeah? At least make it look good. Cool. We'll make it happen. Oh, God, I'm going to trust this. Uh huh. Yeah, I know you love tart. Come on. <laughs> the shade. You're so shade. Come on, big guy. You can do this. Let's start with no comb. Okay. We like long comb. We need a dark shade, obviously, and to go with your complexion. I would say probably do something like this. Let's go with this. It's the darkest thing I can see. On you know, it would probably help to like swatch it on yourself to see what no. it looks like. So you're just gonna guesstimate. I, I don't. Need, I can see. That's a very, very okay. Actually, that's a very good point. It's not illegal. Too. No, it's this is yeah. That's what they're here for. It's testers. Oh, no, this is too dark. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually harder than I expected. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think this is close, so I might go down. I might go up a bit. Yeah, this is this is actually the closest one. Okay, so you found your first product, and yeah. I didn't. Even, he shaved matched me on his own. Wow, good job, babe. Don't let you come out. No. Because it rhymes with mask, you get that? Why would I want all this color to go in your face? Because babes, I know how to make it work, it's beautiful, that's the point. So you can use any color? Uh, well, sort of, if, yeah. So deep broke, let's go to YSL. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no honey, let me guide you from the light, let me guide you. Babes, say hi to Casey. Oh shit, Casey. You know, she's my home girl, and I like, mean, I go way back. <laughs> We're supposed to go Vegas, but it didn't happen. But Casey, we'll see you, I'll see you later on, yeah? <laughs> hey, Casey, home girl, man. Casey's the home girl. Dennis, in the heat of the moment, under pressure. The best part is next. Don't make sense. Highlighter, babe. Highlight. Highlight. Highlight is the. Yes, highlight. Can our friend Bobby Brown help us? 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 Highlight. By the way, just the real Bobby Brown. Yeah. The uh, Bobby Brown, the uh, Willie's ex old husband. Yeah. Like uh -huh. He's on a highlight card. No, it's only right we support Casey when it comes to the highlight. So I'm back home and I've got a bag full of goodies. I Dennis did a pretty good job. Dennis definitely did a pretty good job. I did have to guide him a little bit. Like I had to tell him, pick a foundation, pick a brow product. Everything else he pretty much did on his own. Okay, so just for the sake of not spending $9 million, I didn't have him buy any tools, but he did manage to get me two beauty blenders. So I'm gonna go dampen these and then come right back. He knows I like Lancome and he did really good. And surprisingly, picked out my exact foundation shade. Can you believe that? I don't typically use Smashbox primers. This one is the oil-free photo finish foundation primer. We'll see how this one holds up. And the worst part is I got some place to go right after this. So if it's not popping and I'm in public looking crazy, this is a really good smoothing primer. I definitely need something that's gonna do more than smooth, like oil control. Um, We'll see how this one holds up. I'm now going to set the primer because I am a skeptic with the transistor powder that he bought. This is from Makeup Forever, it's their HD powder. And the Sephora girl told him to get this. So this looks like a pretty, I mean, it's yellow. Like I can definitely use this. I'm just using a powder puff and stamping that into my skin. I need this look to be wearable. Like I said, I got plans today. So the powder is actually not bad. It's like blending right into my skin. Obviously took away some of the shine, and I'm going to take my obvious staple, the Tiny Doll Ultra Makeup from Lancome in my color, high five bae. So at least I'll actually get use out of this. I can actually use this and keep it. Y'all, when I tell you he was really stressed out, he was so, like, he could not understand why we choose to go through this. Like, it was so stressful for him. He couldn't understand, like, what we get, like, what enjoyment we get out of this whole process. And I was like, hey, you know how, that's the same thing I wonder when you sit through a damn football game, you know? Now, luckily, Dennis has chuckled himself, so obviously he's not naive to 
the plight that we have as people of color finding things that match us. Next, I'm going to conceal with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I swear he picked these things out, guys. I did not help him. The only thing is he picked up Cafe and Cafe is my skin color. He doesn't realize that you usually go a little lighter under the eyes, but um, you know, we're, we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with the punches. Maybe we can make it work with powder. So needless to say, there's definitely going to be some dimension lacking in the face because it all matches. So I gotta find a way to make that work. <laughs> oh, this is hard to look at. I'm gonna go back to that powder and I'm gonna use a rounded brush, which I believe is for concealing. Whatever, today is for powder, okay? And I'm just gonna press that in. Actually, I'm pressing and rolling. I'm doing the same thing onto my forehead, my five head. I'm proud of the fact that he managed to pick up my favorite brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. This is interesting. The YSL Couture Palette. I've never tried YSL's eyeshadows. Today we're going to be doing that for the first time. Packaging is real bougie and cute, just how I like it. And it just looks like a nice, like basic color palette. It's not really something that I think I would pick out, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't have an eye primer, so what I'm gonna do is use my concealer as one. This face is looking real flat, girl. We're gonna have to add some highlights somewhere. Oh, so I don't even know where to start. Dark, but here's what the palette looks like. Oh, the shadows are really smooth. Ooh, they're really. Ooh, this color is calling my name. It's like a nice taupe color. Here is like a straight up beige. It's nice. It's like a satiny one, not chalky at all. So the question is, what am I going to do with it? This Joker right here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good color. He managed to pick out eyeshadows that match what I'm wearing. I'm happy about that. Good job, babe. I'm gonna take this blue in the middle and I'm going to smoke that on my lash line. All these colors on me right now are probably all gonna look the same. I have no primer on, nothing to grab. So you see the true color, but you know, it's cool. Actually not a bad palette if you're into like basic colors that are really soft. And let's also introduce that blue to my bottom lash line. Then the beige color, I'm going to pop that onto my lid just to kind of mattify that area. You guys, this palette actually isn't that bad. It's like a cute little like staples. It has like the essentials. I'm gonna take this really, really soft color here and pop that there. Ooh, a little silvery, but that's cool. We'll blend it out with the beige again. Okay, so I'm basic, but I'm happy. So he picked up Very Real, which is another one of my favorite mascaras, but the only problem, it, well, I shouldn't call this a problem. He got it in brown. <laughs> I don't typically wear brown mascara for my everyday looks. You know what? He also got Roller Lash, which I've never tried. So I think I'd rather do Roller Lash. Let's try brown on my bottom lashes. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, that's not making me look well. Not too bad. Let's give Roller Lash a chance. Oh God, please don't get in the line. Ah! Okay, so Roller Lash is actually not bad. It's surprisingly pretty good at thickening, which usually these rubber wands, I don't think are gonna thicken the way that I want them to, but it's not, it's not bad. I'll stop side eyeing Roller Lash when I see it. I actually think it's doing a really good job. I'm not done yet though. I go in with my mascara. You guys know me. I realized I probably should have zoomed in to let you see a little bit more of the look, but um, here's what Roller Lash looks like on this eye with brown mascara on the bottom lash. And then we're gonna get into this eye. Do you know how many of these I've given away and donated? Cause I didn't think I would like them. Whoa. Talk about being slept on, wow. I think this is a great mascara for like when you want the look to look like a look, but like not as polished as like a going out look. You know what I mean? Like you want to look done up, but kind of not really. Like a grungy, but not so much. <laughs> right now, between the way my eyelashes look and the blue in the palette, I'm feeling like my brown eyes are popping. Now it's time to bronze. This was a product that I told him not to buy because he picked it out, but then I knew that I had it at home, so I didn't let it. Obviously, it would be kind of pointless to have him buy a product that I know I already have. It is the new Becca Sunlit Bronzers. I wouldn't typically use something like this as a bronzer because it's quite, it's quite red, it's almost like a highlight, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot anyway and see 
how I like it. It does look beautiful though. I'm glad I kept this color. I donated all the other colors that I knew. Oh wait, just kidding, I have to do powder. So I asked him to pick out a powder and he picked up the Smashbox Hydrating, Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. I've never used this before, believe it or not. Wait, I have. I actually think I have. I remember like the construction of this situation here. The color that he bought for me is medium dark. I've never ever, I've never been a medium anything in any brand ever. Let's just pray for the best. Definitely a bit lighter than my skin tone. So you know what? I'm just gonna concentrate this in the middle. This powder is very neutral. I'm seeing a little bit of olivey. Yeah, it's pretty neutral. I definitely would not use this all over. You know, use this all over my face. So far, I have hope and bay. I think you did a pretty good job. I'm gonna use my Becca brush. Why not use the Becca brush for bronzing with the Becca bronzer? Ugh. It's actually not looking too bad at all. A bronzer and blush in one. Because it's giving me color and warmth at the same time. Wow, you guys, that actually doesn't look bad at all. I mean, I like it. Hit that forehead. <laughs> Shout out to the Virgin Hair Fantasy. Always keeping the crop dusted. Thank you. Feeling really good about this bronzer. I think it looks beautiful. For blush, I'm going to be using Lovejoy. Shout out to Bay for getting NARS because their blushes are off the charts. Kind of looks pretty similar to the bronzer, does it not? They're almost the exact same color. So Lovejoy is a lot more pink, which is this one, and the Becca bronzer is more coral. This looks like a nice blush I can wear every day. It's got kind of like that natural built-in highlight. This is a nice blush. This is really pretty. So I refused to let him buy Casey Holmes Smashbox um, highlighter palette because I knew I had it at home, but this is actually really picked out. So shout out to you, girl. Congratulations on your collab. I've been really, 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 really like waiting to get my hands on this and to actually use it in a tutorial. He picked out the gold palette. And um, again, because I already have it, I didn't let him buy it, but I just wanted to show you guys, like this is what we got blessed with when her collab came out. And I just want y'all to also know I'm never throwing this box away. So shout out to you girl for giving me some new home decor because this is just staying in my house. I'm not, getting, I'm not throwing this box away ever. This middle one is calling my name. All 20 of my Yoruba names, okay? So I'm gonna be using that one. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. And that matches my hair color too. Casey, girl! Gosh, these are really soft, like super soft to blend. This is a peachy gold. It's Casey and she's the plug. Like I, I trust a lot of her reviews. I trust a lot of her reviews. I know that if she likes it, I'm gonna like it. Cause I, I know she won't BS me. He kept passing by Kat Von D like, who is that, who is that? I don't know who that is. So he grabbed Damned, which is a dark, dark, almost kind of like brown red liquid lipstick, which I'm secretly happy he grabbed cause I really like this color. Dennis loves when I wear dark lipstick. So it was only a matter of time before he reached for something that was dark. I think I may even own this. I don't remember. I just wish it wasn't called damned. I don't want to be damned. Can I? How about saved, cat? How about saved? Sounds like a better idea. He picked up one of these too. He knows I like these. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look. I think I pulled it off. And this is actually like a look that I would wear. Like I almost kind of feel like I filmed something like this in the past before. Okay, babe, how do you think you did? I used all the products that you bought. Oh, well done. So you, yeah. put, you actually put it all I in. made the look. Did we just, you want to know how you did? No, I think I've done better than what you normally do. Oh, wait a minute. I don't <laughs> out of 40 foundation shades, you picked out my exact foundation No shade. way. You did. You did good. You did good. Now, the only thing was the concealer. You picked out my face shade. Yeah. But what you don't know is usually when you wear concealer for under eye, you go a shade lighter. Oh, okay, so it's not supposed like, to be like highlight. It's just oh, okay, highlight. Cool. It looks pretty good. And the lipstick. Well, the lipstick was Killed like no. uh, Cap on D, he, he doesn't know this, but Cap uh, on D actually makes some, some of my favorite lipsticks. I didn't even actually know that. It's actually crazy the fact that you look better than what you normally No, do. don't say what I normally do. You really trying to eat? You really tune your own horn? I won't be going to shopping with you again. You yes, you will. That will be the last time. And you will be bringing your MS. No. Thank you. If you don't really well. Good, I think you did really well. You should pat yourself in the back. No, I should you, should, you should do the Sephora shopping more often. Well, thank you so much for checking out today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it fun. I know Dennis did. No, and didn't. we're definitely going to have him do no. the shopping more often. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And we'll hopefully see you next time. Nope, you won't see me yes, again. You will. Peace out, people. With, with the Amex. Bye. <laughs> so make sure you check out some previous uploads and make sure you subscribe. So all that info is going to be right here, blocking my face right in this area, right here.